Hey, what's up? It's John, aka Operation iDroid, and in this video, I want to talk to you about the Build Store. Some of my older subscribers may remember what the Build Store is because I've mentioned it in previous videos, but the last time I made a dedicated video on the Build Store was over four years ago. That was a long time ago. And for those of you that don't know what the Build Store is, let me explain it to you quickly. The Build Store is a service that allows you to download your favorite emulators like GBA for iOS, PPSS, PP, INDS, and many other awesome applications with the guarantee of the apps never being revoked for one full year. However, the Build Store is a paid service. It costs $11.99. That's $1 a month for the full year and less than a ticket to the movies. The Build Store offers countless hours of entertainment with their huge selection of apps and you'll never have to deal with losing your saves because your app will never be revoked with the Build Store. I've worked with and used the Build Store for many years and in my opinion, I definitely think it's worth it. Now I know not everyone has $11.99, some of you are very young and don't have money to just throw at the Build Store. So I'm gonna be hosting a giveaway for a few Build Store accounts and maybe you'll be lucky enough to win one. Make sure to follow the rules that I have listed in the description below to enter and I wish you the best of luck. However, if you don't wanna really rely on luck to get a Build Store account, you can obviously buy one or you can earn some money using a video that I have linked in the description below that allows you to get a PayPal gift card by downloading apps and other things like that. So definitely check that out if you haven't done so already. And finally, I'm gonna be buying a Build Store account in this video and walking you through the process of how it works and all of the awesome applications they have. So without wasting any more time, let's begin with the tutorial. All right, getting a Build Store account on your iOS device is very simple and all you have to do is open Safari and type in the URL operationidroid.com forward slash Build Store. By using this link to sign up for the Build Store, I do receive a little bit of a kickback as I am an affiliate with them, so I definitely appreciate you choosing to sign up for the Build Store with me. Anyways, upon arriving at the website, you can scroll down and view all of the amazing emulators and applications that they have to offer on their website. Once you sign up, you'll be able to install all of these applications and never worry about them being revoked for a whole year. So to sign up, just hit the green sign up button and it'll ask you to create an account. So just enter an email, a password, and then select sign up. Once you've done that, it'll ask you to get a profile. So just go ahead and click on that button and then select allow on the first pop-up and then select done on the second pop-up. From here, we're going to go back into our settings, scroll down to general, scroll down to profiles, or it could be profiles and device management. Find the builds.io device registration profile, hit install profile, then hit install at the top right and it'll redirect you back to Safari where it'll ask you to choose your plan. Now there are two plans. There's the $11.99 plan that I mentioned earlier and there's also a $14.99 plan that allows you to transfer your Build Store account into a new device if you ever do get a new device. So it's important that you take that into account because if you plan on getting a new device within a year and you wanna transfer your Build Store account into that new device, then you'll have to purchase the $14.99 one that allows you two transfers. So keep that in mind before choosing your plan because it would suck to get a new device and then having to pay $11.99 again to get the build store on that new device instead of just paying $14.99 and saving yourself some money. Anyways, once you've decided what plan to get, go ahead and hit the green pay with PayPal button and I'll redirect you to PayPal. However, you do not need a PayPal account to pay for the build store. As you can see on the bottom, it says pay with debit or credit card, and then you can use a debit or credit card to pay for the build store. Or if you have a PayPal account, then you can choose to pay with that as well. Once you've paid for the build store, it'll give you this screen here that says you paid with the dollar amount. And what you wanna do is scroll down and select return to merchant. And it'll take you to this screen here and it'll give you a pop-up that says your payment successfully applied. Hit close and it'll take you to the build store where you can click on the green button to begin installing your apps. And as you can see, you now have access to their wide selection of applications with streaming services like Kodi, 
your favorite emulators like GBA for iOS, INDS, PPSS, PP, and much more for you to install on your iOS device. So once you decide what application that you want to install, just go ahead and click on it and then hit the install button and that'll load for a little bit. It does take some time, but once it's done, it'll give you a green run button and all you have to do is click on that green run button. Then it'll give you another pop-up that says install. Go ahead and click on that and now your application will begin to install on your iOS device and whether you're getting an emulator like GBA for iOS or another application, you don't have to worry about the app ever getting revoked by Apple. That's what you're paying for with the build store to guarantee that your apps will always work so that you can just enjoy your games or application stress free. And of course, you are not limited to downloading only one application. You can download as many applications as you like. So I encourage you to just browse through their wide selection of applications, choose whichever applications you would like to use. And I've made tons of tutorials on many of the applications that are available on the build store, like PPSS PP, and even emulators like Provenance that you may not have heard of, but actually plays PlayStation 1 games and Nintendo 64 games, which is pretty cool to be able to play those awesome consoles on your iOS device. So I'll have all of those tutorials linked in the description below if you wanna learn how to use these applications because I'm not gonna go into depth on how to use all of these amazing apps in this one video, but now that you have them on your iOS device, you never have to worry about them getting revoked. And that's it. Signing up for the Build Store is super simple as you just saw and installing applications is even easier. If you had any issues signing up for the Build Store, I'll have an FAQ that the Build Store made linked in the description below that will most likely answer any problems or questions that you may have about the Build Store. And if that doesn't help you, then I'll also have their customer service email linked in the description below where you can send your email about your issue and hopefully it'll be resolved. As always, my comment section is open for you. If you have any questions or you need any help, I'll be happy to help you in the comment section below. And if you signed up for the Build Store, make sure to take a screenshot and send it to me on Twitter or Instagram so I can thank you personally for supporting the channel using my Build Store link. Finally, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. I upload videos every Saturday, so if you're not subscribed yet, I highly recommend that you subscribe to be notified whenever I upload a video because I make awesome videos like this one every week. With all that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Until then, goodbye.